Hello students, myself Saurabh Maheshwari and Hello students, myself Saurabh Maheshwari and I welcome you all to this ongoing lecture series on C programming and uh, we are going for uh, arrays in C and uh, till now we have completed uh, various programs, uh, the concepts related to the array and we have also completed uh, the programs related to array okay so uh, these were the concepts that we have covered and uh, there, then we saw program to average of the array and then we saw program to search in an array then i also explained you how to write a program by your own for counting odd even and prime numbers now in today's uh, video uh, what we will do, we will uh, find, uh, we will try to uh, see how to make a program to find a maximum and minimum number uh, and how many times they have occurred in an array. Okay, so this should be an interesting problem for you uh, that uh, given an array, this is the uh, input array which has been given to you. Suppose this, this array is given to you and now your objective is to find out uh, what is the minimum number from it okay and what is the maximum number from it okay what is the minimum number from it and what is the maximum number from it and how many times that minimum and maximum number not all the numbers only the minimum and maximum number both how many times they have occurred in this particular uh, particular array okay so uh, analyzing first we analyze this manually and then we will look for what is what should be the logic of the program okay now you can see that there is an array now from analyzing this now uh, uh, analyzing this you can simply find that one is the smallest number okay now you find it very easily right where you find it very easily that one is the uh, minimum number now but if you elaborate your uh, algorithm of mind okay now this is the technique short technique that i am telling you just elaborate the techniques that your mind used okay that technique that your mind used to solve the mind used to solve the problem to solve the problem okay and estimate all data items okay estimate all data items and process processes followed by your brain followed by your so called brain fine so this is the technique that i used to resolve any problem that uh, uh, is unknown to me and I want to solve the problem so this is the uh, short method or this is the method that I follow I ask from my mind that how would it solve okay because computer also works similar to the brain right so uh, if you can understand that how your brain has processed the data then you can also uh, identify a program out of it okay now ask uh, now uh, Show this data to your brain, okay, and ask from the brain how it identified the minimum number, okay. So majority of you, you, you don't find that it, this is a process very long uh, running process in your brain, okay. The brain is so fast in calculating that you know don't uh, uh, even remember that how you find it, okay. So but if you if you deeply concentrate on your brain and uh, split the process step by step you will see that uh, your brain started from uh, reading this number okay now i will write these numbers over here 4 3 uh, 4 1 3 2 1 9 1 9 8 1 okay now your how your brain process your brain started scanning this number and in some back of your mind it recorded this number that this is the uh, minimum number obtained till now right then it analyzed this number okay as soon as this number was analyzed the brain asked from brain asked uh, 
brain asked from the stored uh, uh, minimum number that what was that number so brain asked that uh, the minimum number stored till now this four okay now the new number which has been observed right now is smaller than the previous number right so what will happen the brain will replace the minimum number with this new number okay and if i also want to count it okay so I, I what i will do i will just simply count this number as one okay now occurrence of this number has been one okay now one has come to one time okay now the next number it brain uh, accesses this now it checks whether three is greater than one or not uh, no the answer is no okay so brain analyzes that i don't need to replace this one okay and this should not be replaced now okay now next is two. Uh, so if I repeat the process once again, so you can see that uh, uh, the brain started with a number. Suppose it took the first number as the minimum number, or it can also take any any uh, any very big number as a minimum number. Okay, that uh, what we have done. We have taken thousand as a thousand as a minimum number. Okay, so any number that will come here. Will definitely be less than will definitely be less than thousand right so uh, the first number four is less than thousand so obviously thousand will now not be minimum uh, the minimum number would be four okay so uh, uh, now your brain stores that four is the minimum number okay now it starts from here again we start from here now uh, uh, suppose the, the next number is one okay what you can see here also so this one is brain compares this one from the previously stored minimum number which was four okay now it compares whether the new number is bigger or the previous number is bigger or uh, currently we are taking in case of minimum in case of minimum it will identify which number is minimum this one is minimum or this four is minimum this new number is minimum or the previously stored number is minimum okay now if new number is minimum what your brain does that it now forgets about this four and it now remembers one okay so we require so i am writing what data items we require data items we require that to store latest minimum okay latest minimum and store its occurrence fine so uh, four four initially was noted as minimum and its occurrence was one okay so it may uh, so uh, initially the minimum was stored as four and its occurrence was one okay now suddenly when one came so one is compared with this previous minimum so four is replaced by one because one is minimum than four okay now three comes three and its its occurrence always also become one because every time a new number is found every time you replace it you have to count it from one again okay now take it three three is compared with one no so it should not be changed now two is compared with uh, one uh, so it is not changed because one is minimum now again comes one okay so one is not less than one right one is not less than one but it is equal to one so at the time of equal to so at the time of equal to of minimum number what you have to do you have to increase the counting of that particular number are you able to understand this that whenever the whenever the uh, whenever the new number is less than the current minimum whenever the new number is less than the current minimum what what you have to do you just have to replace the minimum with the new number okay replace the minimum with the new number and you also have to uh, occurrence you ha also have to uh, occurrence start the occurrence from zero and increment it by one so it would become one okay so first occurrence always makes it one and if anywhere it is not less than and it comes the, the new number is same to the minimum so what happens the occurrence of minimum is incremented so what we have done occurrence of minimum is incremented so it means the uh, uh, instead of uh, one time uh, one has occurred now as two times okay so we have scanned till now so next year what you
your brain does to your brain are about nine. Okay, so uh, nine is uh, less than one. Okay, nine is not less than one, so it will not change anything. Now again, it comes one. Okay, so what will happen? This will come into this condition where uh, the new number is equal to equal to minimum. So what will happen? It will become three. Right. So nine will not affect anything. It will not affect anything, and one will not affect anything. Okay, so now this one will come and one will make the this last one. This last one will make this occurrence as four. So one has occurred for the. So what 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 is the minimum number, which is the value of this particular data, and what is the occurrence of this one is four. Okay, so this is how you can find minimum. The same process can be followed for maximum also. Um, but can you see that in the same uh, scanning? Okay, if you complicate, if you ask your brain to do some complex calculation and remember multiple things, then you can also find in a single scan. You can also find that what is the minimum value till now and what is the maximum value till now, right? So let us start it again, and this time we will uh, we will store the latest maximum also and its occurrence also, right? So. Uh, it starts from here. Let let us see the. So what we have done, we have uh, initially taken maximum as minus one. So it means uh, all the numbers would be obviously higher than this because uh, we are assuming that the input is uh, positive. Okay. So uh, any negative number would be uh, definitely uh, smallest number. So any any number that even zero it comes in this array, it would be a. <coughs> it would be a. It would be a maximum number then this minus one. Okay, so this minus one will be replaced for the first, right? So let us now start with the scanning of this and ask your brain what it does. Okay, it remembers that four four should be the minimum number and also the maximum number. What I am doing, I am again uh, rubbing this out and we will now uh, do both of the. Problems together. Okay, now we will solve the uh, problems together. Okay, now the first element that is analyzed by your brain is four. Okay, now what, uh, ask what what your brain does. Okay, it remembers four to be the minimum number also and the maximum number also because there is no reference. Okay, the references are minimum number is one thousand. Obviously, uh, if you do it in the form of programming, right? You have you have to. Have something to compare, right? So minimum and maximum should be initialized such that the first number is always become maximum than this number or minimum than this number. Minimum is to be always taken as a very high number, okay? And maximum is always to be taken as very low number, okay? Hmm. So store latest minimum is four now, okay? Now one comes, okay? As soon as one comes, what happens? This okay, and uh, apart from that, occurrence of four was one, okay? In both cases, that that is also be took also to be noted by the brain, okay? Now one, what happens when one comes? It is replay, it replaces four as one because the uh, brain sees that uh, uh, one is smaller than four, so it. Changes the minimum number and also changes the occurrence of this particular one. Okay, this one is this one is occurrence of this one, right? Okay. Now next number uh, and one is not maximum than four. Okay, so the maximum number does not change. Now your brain reads three. Now what happens when three is read? Three reads that uh, three is read, then uh, uh, this one uh, is. Again, minimum because it does not changes the value and four is uh, four is greater than three, so maximum number is again four. Now two does not make any changes. Now this one comes. What what happens? We have already seen that if the new number is same to the minimum, then only the counting of the number increases, right? So if the new number if the new number is equal to the latest minimum. Then only the occurrence of the minimum increases, right? Okay, so uh, with this one, what happens? This one occurrence of one becomes two. Okay, now nine comes. As soon as nine comes, it is compared with one. No, it is not required. Okay, so it is compared with four. Yes, so the four is replaced by nine as a maximum. You can see this condition. A new number that is nine is greater than four. 
okay and this is true right it is true so what happens max uh, o it means max occurrence o means occurrence okay max occurrence becomes zero and max becomes ai ai is nine so max becomes nine and its occurrence is o plus plus o plus plus makes the occurrence one okay so occurrence of nine is one now fine then we will see that one comes one comes so it matches with the current minimum so it increases the occurrence now there comes nine okay now nine matches nine matches this is nine and nine matches with the max okay so this becomes true this becomes true so what you have to do occurrence of maximum to be incremented by one okay so occurrence of maximum is incremented by one and it becomes two right so it becomes two so this this is also scanned now number of eight comes so what happens with the eight is uh, eight is uh, greater than one so no problem and eight is less than nine so it will not change now this one comes this one comes so this is this matches with this and its occurrence is four okay so can you see your brain remember these four data and the process it follows is to um, is to check it regularly check the new number with the maximum number if it is less than max it is greater than maximum or not and it is less than minimum or not it is equal to maximum or it is equal to minimum these four conditions are checked parallelly for each and every ai okay obviously ai will uh, enter into uh, any two of the condition may enter a uh, maximum any two of the condition because the same number can be maximum and minimum also like in case of four initially uh, the four was uh, till you know only four four out of all of these then four was minimum number also and maximum number also okay so uh, maximum two can be true maximum two can be true right okay and on the basis of that after this loop or scanning loop this is the scanning loop of the particular or uh, a particular array by this loop you scan the complete array and after scanning the minimum number and minimum occurrence maximum number and maximum occurrence can be printed you can see in the output minimum occurrence of 1 is 4 that you you have also found out and maximum uh, maximum number is 9 and its occurrence is 2 that you have also find out okay so i believe this program is clear to you and also how to convert because you don't need to remember the program okay you need to learn how to solve the problem for this you have to understand the problem and for understanding the problem okay just elaborate the technique that your mind use to solve the problem and estimate all the data items we have done the same thing and processes followed by your brain processes and these are the data items that are for that are used by the brain so once you identify all these just complete the programming statements and programming statements are always uh, as per the need of the programming language so you can solve any problem in any program